Tesla just shattered the EV market with a $10,395 price tag. But that's not the shocking part. The Model 2 is finally here, and it's doing something radical. Removing 30 to 40% of traditional car parts. Fewer air vents. Fewer switches. Fewer things that break. Why is Tesla stripping down instead of adding features? What do they know about reliability that other automakers don't? Here's the kicker. At highway speeds, this budget EV runs 3 to 5 decibels quieter than gas sedans. You can talk normally at 65 miles per hour without shouting over road noise. How did Tesla make a $10,000 car quieter than your $30,000 Honda? And here's what's truly shocking. By cutting those parts, owners could save $150 to $300 yearly on repairs. Is this actually the cheapest car to own long-term? Not just to buy? Let's dive right in. So, what's actually different about this car? Let's start with what's missing, because that's where the genius lives. Traditional automakers love adding features. More buttons, more adjustments, more things to break. Tesla went the opposite direction and removed 30 to 40% of typical interior mechanisms. Sounds cheap, right? But here's the catch. Industry data shows that interior and electrical failures account for 20 to 30% of service visits in the first two years. Tesla didn't strip features. They eliminated the parts most likely to fail. Take the air vents. Your typical economy car has six to eight pivot joints per vent. Those little fins you twist around. Each joint squeaks, loosens, and eventually jams. The Model 2 uses linear slot vents with just two to three hidden flaps. You slide a single control. The flaps redirect airflow. Done. That's a 70% reduction in mechanical joints. Walk into any dealership with three-year-old economy cars and listen. Those vents rattle. The Model 2's design eliminates the problem at the source. But it makes you wonder, is this about reliability or manufacturing speed? Because simpler assembly means Tesla can scale production faster than anyone else. The buttons reveal even more. Standard plastic switches feel mushy after 100,000 presses. The Model 2 uses sealed metal dome switches rated for 500,000 to a million cycles. That's five to ten times longer. You press your window button twice daily. That's 1,460 presses per year. By year five, cheaper switches start failing. These won't. Press one ten times fast in the showroom. If it stays firm with less than 0.2 millimeters wobble, you're feeling engineering that most $40,000 cars skip. Now this is where it gets interesting. The armrest and center console lid use short steel pins with felt padding at contact points. Most budget cars use plastic hinges that squeak within 18 months of ownership. Open and close the Model 2's lid 20 times. If the gap stays consistent and there's zero noise, that's tolerance precision you don't expect at this price. Apply firm pressure on the armrest edge. Total silence? That's not an accident. Even the USB-C ports use steel retention clips designed for 10,000 plug cycles with cable guides underneath preventing rattle. How many cars have you owned where the charging port got loose by year three? Tesla just engineered that problem out of existence. And here's the calculation that matters. If these changes eliminate just one-third of those common interior failures, you're avoiding 0.3 to 0.5 unplanned service visits per year. Each visit costs $100 to $200 in time and repairs. Over three years, you're saving $150 to $300 annually just by owning a car with fewer things to break. That's not marketing. That's math. But fewer parts only matter if the materials last. 
This is where Tesla's playing a completely different game. The Model 2's interior doesn't look premium. The plastics are matte, surfaces are textured, nothing screams luxury showroom. But they're betting you won't understand the strategy until year seven when your neighbor's economy car looks like a rental fleet vehicle and yours still looks fine. The surfaces use anti-adhesion polymer coatings, spill coffee on cheap PVC, and it penetrates in 5 to 10 seconds, staining permanently. The Model 2's coating resists absorption 20 to 30% longer. A damp cloth wipes it clean. Sounds minor until you realize most people don't detail their cars. They just live in them. By year 5, interiors either look maintained or destroyed. Tesla chose materials that forgive real-world neglect. The matte texture is actually tactical deception. Glossy surfaces show every fingernail mark and micro-scratch. By year five, they look cheap and worn. Deep matte textures diffuse light and hide those same scratches. This is why luxury brands use matte finishes. They age invisibly. Tesla brought that to a $10,000 car. Door trims tell the same story. They fade fastest because direct sunlight hits them daily. Tesla UV tests materials by simulating years of sun exposure in weeks. Color deviation stays nearly invisible. Materials without UV additives turn cloudy and gray in three to five years. Drive through any parking lot and look at five-year-old economy cars. Those faded door panels that used to be black? That's what this engineering prevents. The seat material might be the quietest revolution. Next-generation polycarbonate-coated PU leather with elastic backing passes compression tests across tens of thousands of cycles, holding shape and surface one to two times longer than older materials. In hot, humid climates like Florida or Texas, cheap materials crack and peel within years. This won't. The question is, is Tesla over-engineering a budget car? Or is this the new baseline everyone else will have to match? Which brings us to something nobody expected. Silence. At 65 miles per hour in the Model 2, you can talk at normal volume. You can hear the back seat passenger without them shouting. Most $30,000 sedans can't do this. And it's not magic. It's physics. At highway speeds, engine noise is gone because it's electric. What remains? Wind noise at door seals and tire impact against pavement. Tesla optimized three specific zones. Door seals at ear level, carpets near front wheel wells, and the compressor compartment. Result? Cabin noise drops 2 to 3 decibels in the frequency range humans find most fatiguing. That equals 20% less perceived noise. After 40 to 60 minutes of highway driving, that's the difference between arriving tired versus arriving alert. The door seals are brilliantly simple. Thicker rubber, tighter clamping force at the window frame, and two sealing ridges instead of one. Test it yourself. Close the door on a sheet of paper and pull. If it resists sliding near the top frame, sealing force is strong. Old gas cars? The paper slides out easily. That's where wind noise enters, and it worsens over time as seals compress. The front wheel wells get compressed fiber liners instead of hard plastic, adding just 1 to 1.5 kilograms to absorb that annoying gravel tick-tick sound. Take a phone decibel meter on a test drive at 60 miles per hour. If readings are 2 to 3 decibels lower than your current car, your ears notice instantly. The HVC compressor gets a sealed cover with foam lining and precise air channels. Costs almost nothing. Works remarkably well. As the compressor naturally ages and gets louder, good insulation maintains quiet operation without maintenance. By year 8, when other budget EVs sound like hair dryers, this design keeps humming quietly. Add acoustic windshield glass laminated with an inner film layer, 
and direct wind impact drops another one to two decibels. Pass a semi-truck at 70 miles per hour. In a standard sedan, you pause conversation. In the Model 2, you don't. These solutions add only 1.5 to 3 kilograms total weight, barely affecting range, but improving every drive for a decade. And here's why it matters long term. After five years, interior quality might hold up, but wind and road noise become the daily annoyance that causes neck tension, headaches, and fatigue. A well-insulated cabin isn't luxury. It's health. Now here's the controversial part. The controls. Touch screens are terrible while driving. Everyone knows it. Nobody admits it. You want to defog the windshield. Suddenly you're hunting through menus, eyes off the road. The Model 2 puts physical buttons back on the steering wheel, and they work through muscle memory. Each command takes 300 to 500 milliseconds. That's keyboard typing speed. Eye off road time drops 30 to 40 percent compared to touchscreen menus. You don't look, you just touch the familiar spot. The buttons have distinct shapes long ridge for temperature, circular dome for fan speed, triangular nub for defog. Spacing is 12 to 16 millimeters apart with height differences your fingers can feel without looking. Actuation force is calibrated between 0.6 to 1.2 newtons with precise travel distance creating a firm click your brain recognizes instantly. The logic stays consistent. Light press changes one step. Holding adjusts continuously. Double press recalls presets. At night, backlight stays at 1 to 3 nits for quick glances. Daytime brightness drops to zero preventing glare. The buttons sit recessed one to two millimeters below the rim preventing accidental touches, but guiding edges help fingers find position while driving straight. This layout reduces errors by 25 to 35 percent because actions rely on muscle memory, not sight. At 65 miles per hour, cutting each glance from one second to 0.4 to 0.6 seconds means reducing distance traveled while looking away by nearly half. For anyone who values not crashing, that's measurable peace of mind. As hardware stays consistent through software updates, reaction speed improves over time as fingers memorize paths. So here's what it all means. Tesla isn't building a budget car. They're stress testing a philosophy. Fewer parts that don't break. Materials that age invisibly. Cabins quiet enough to think. Controls you operate without looking. If the Model 2 delivers on these promises at $10,395, it's not competing with the Nissan Versa. It's embarrassing the entire industry. So here's the answer to the question we started with. Is the Model 2 about affordability? No. It's about proving the entire automotive industry has been building cars wrong for decades. Tesla just showed that fewer parts, better materials, and smarter design beat complexity every single time. This is exactly why legacy automakers are sweating. When you eliminate 30 to 40% of failure-prone components while maintaining quality, you're not cutting corners, you're cutting waste. The Model 2 saves owners $150 to $300 yearly in repairs, runs quieter than $30,000 sedans, and ages better than cars twice its price. That's not a budget car. That's a engineering revolution at a budget price. And here's what comes next. If this works at $10,395, Tesla won't stop there. By 2027, we could see even simpler designs, faster production, and prices legacy automakers can't touch without redesigning everything from scratch. The Model 2 isn't the end goal. It's proof the old way is dying. Now I want to hear from you. Which upgrade matters most? The reliability from fewer parts? The silence at highway speeds? 
or the muscle memory controls? Drop your answer in the comments below. If this breakdown gave you a new perspective on what Tesla's actually doing, hit that like button. It helps us reach more people who want real analysis, not hype. And if you're not subscribed to Tech Revolution yet, click subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss when we decode the next industry disruption. The Model 2 isn't just changing EVS, it's rewriting the rules of what cars should be. And we're just getting started.